let, <coughs> let us continue our practice. I want to stay with the very simple method of practicing loving friendliness and uh, practice of jhana. Using loving friendliness as an object, one can gain jhana. When we use loving friendliness as an object for gaining jhana, we don't <coughs> expect to get counterpart sign, but directly gain confidence, rapture or joy, happiness and concentration. When we practice metta, our resentment fades away, our mind becomes very pleasant, peaceful, and we want to stay free from sleepiness and drowsiness. That is another hindrance that we have to overcome. We won't cultivate greed, clinging, craving when we practice loving friendliness because it is a universal mental factor, mental factor that we cultivate for the whole universe. We will be over or we will be able to overcome our doubts with regard to the efficacy of metta. And we won't have since we don't have anger, we also would not have restlessness and worry when we cultivate loving friendliness because we learn to forgive and forget all the trespassing, all the mistakes that we committed in the past. And that helps us to overcome our restlessness and worry. Thus the practice of metta helps to overcome all the five hindrances and their place will be taken by the jhanic factors one after the other. So let us begin sharing loving friendliness First of all, we must learn to be friendly with ourselves. When we are friendly with ourselves, we feel peaceful, we feel comfortable, <coughs> full of joy, very peaceful, <coughs> feeling we have. We will not have resentment or anger towards ourselves. And thus make the body relax, the mind relax, and we experience this joy of metta, feeling that we are healthy, 
We are free from afflictions. We are free from trouble. We deserve what we gain, that we have deserved, that we deserve to gain according to our karma. What we have is ours. We feel secure all around us. We feel protected from all directions. Our minds and body are calm and peaceful. From that place, from that feeling, we share the same metta, same loving thought, friendly thought, with all other beings. This is a special conditioning, conditioning of our mind to make the practice easy and comfortable. Metta is a conditional factor, conditional practice. It is not unconditional friendliness. There's nothing unconditional except Nibbāna. Everything else is conditional. So is metta. And we condition our mind in a very special way, in a most positive way, wholesome way, effective way, to make our mind calm and peaceful. Let us wish that our parents be free from pain, suffering and afflictions. May they be free from fear, tension, anxiety and worry. May they be healthy, may they be peaceful, may they be happy. May they be able to use, utilize whatever they have acquired according to their karma. May they, may they not lose what they have. May they be protected. May they feel secure. May they be free from fear. May our teachers be free from pain, suffering, and afflictions. May they be free from anxiety, worry, tension. May they be healthy. May they be peaceful and happy. May they feel secure and protected from all directions. May they be peaceful and happy. May whatever they have acquired, whatever they deserve, according to their karma, whatever they got acquired, may they not lose them. May they be free from fear anxiety and worry.
May our relatives be free from pain, sufferings and afflictions. May they be healthy, may they be peaceful, may they be relieved from anxiety, worry, tension. May they feel secure and protected from all directions. May they be able to enjoy whatever they have acquired according to their karma, and may they not lose what they have. May our friends be free from pain, sufferings and afflictions. May they be free from fear, tension, anxiety and worry. May they be healthy. May they feel protected and secure. May they be able to enjoy whatever they have acquired according to their karma. May they not lose what they have. May all indifferent persons be free from pain, sufferings and afflictions. May they be free from fear, tension, anxiety and worry. May they feel secure and protected from all directions. May they be able to enjoy whatever they acquired according to their karma. May they not lose what they have. May all our unfriendly persons be free from pain and suffering. May they be free from fear tension, anxiety and worry. May they feel secure and protected from all directions. May they enjoy whatever they have acquired according to their karma. And may they not lose whatever they have. May all beings be free from pain and suffering. May they be free from fear, tension, anxiety and worry. May they feel secure and protected from all directions. May they enjoy whatever they have acquired according to their karma. And may they not lose whatever they have. These are the words we recite either these words or some words similar to these to wish others well-being, peace and happiness. And then let these words sink into our mind and ponder over them, think about them. And we sincerely want to cultivate these thoughts in our mind for our own benefit.
and we sincerely wish all others, everyone, be feel may be free from pain, suffering, afflictions, fear, tension, anxiety, worry. Let us wish all of us and all others around us here, wherever the living beings are, may all living beings have the same kind of peace, May they all relax. May all be friendly. And let's have this friendly feeling towards us as well as towards others. Let us forget and forgive all trespassing, all offenses others have committed against us. Also, we wish others forgive us and forget us for whatever trespassing we have committed, whatever offence we have committed against them. With these thoughts, relax the body, relax the mind. If you sin sincerely let these thoughts sink into your subconscious mind, you certainly will feel relaxed, peaceful, and you will see that you are fully confident in your own practice, your experience, confident in this system of loving, friendly thoughts, cultivating loving, friendly thoughts. These loving, friendly thoughts are time-tested. They are really wonderful, most effective thoughts to relax the body, to relax the mind, and have this confidence in you. There should not be any scruple of doubt about this metta practice. And with this confidence, you continue to focus the mind on these thoughts of metta, relaxing the body, relaxing the mind. Let's not think of any other thoughts, anything else. Let's try to forget the past. Let us try not to think of anything in the future. Imagine this is the moment that we live the most precious, valuable moment. We experience peace, joy and happiness here and now, this very moment, through the practice of loving friendliness, compassion, appreciative joy and equanimity. When we recite, may others be free from pain, suffering and afflictions, we cultivate compassionate thoughts.
when we say may others enjoy their acquisition that they acquired according to their karma, we practice appreciative joy, we rejoice in their enjoyment, rejoice in their pleasure, rejoice in their peace and happiness, Whenever we think of their karma and our karma, we develop the thoughts of equanimity, feelings of equanimity, because the karma is the decisive factor in one's life, in one's peace and happiness over which we don't have any control. Thus we cultivate all the four Brahma Vihara in a very concise, brief manner. Each of them can be cultivated separately to gain the same effect. Confidence, joy, happiness and concentration. Let us keep feeling the joy of friendliness. Just imagine if all living beings, everyone, everyone here in this hall is our friends. Everybody is our friend. They all support us, we support them, we cooperate with them, they cooperate with us. They, we all work together in friendliness to achieve this peace. And this is a wonderful moment to feel oneness in the practice. As long as this practice is concerned, we have no difference We all want to achieve the same goal, same peace, same happiness, and we all want to gain concentration. If others gain concentration and attain jhanas, we should be happy for that person. If nobody has any pain in this group, we should be happy. And we wish no one has pain, no one has difficulty. We wish everyone to, everyone to relax. We wish everyone experience peace joy and happiness.
and try to feel this wonderful, friendly, wholesome, beneficial, peaceful thoughts. Feel the feeling of peace, feeling of happiness. This feeling arouses feeling within yourself, feeling of rapture and happiness. mind definitely will settle down. And you see the spark of light coming from the luminous state of mind. For you to gain concentration, When we give happiness to others, our happiness increases. When we make others peaceful, our peace increases. When we comfort others, we are comforted. When we appreciate others, we are appreciated. We must be grateful to each and every one of others who are with us. We must be grateful to them for their cooperation, for their friendliness, for their sincere support. together in one rhythm of friendliness. We all breathe together in one with one thought of friendliness. We feel the Freedom of peace, friendliness, and experience the joy of friendliness.
experiencing this calm, cool, peaceful feeling of friendliness, experience joy, experiencing this joy, rapture, arising from peace and friendliness. Focus the mind on that joy, peace, friendliness. Metta is our guide. Metta is our protection. Metta binds us together as a community, as a Sangha as one unit. May you all experience unconditional peace. 